So my name is Ginny Getzo, and I work for IBM. I love my company, IBM. And um, about six months, it was actually last June, I, with the permission of my loving husband and the vice president of my organization, I decided to pursue a dream. And this dream involved um, open source projects and a local nonprofit called TROSA. Now, I wish that my lightning talk today was about how that dream was fulfilled and all those details. Instead, my lightning talk today is about my colossal year of failures, my lost year, I call it. And so what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys and give you a call to action like Emily did is get involved. It's so important to go ahead and step out, get involved. And for anyone who's part of the North Carolina area, anyone from Durham, please join me as I get involved. So here's four joys for getting involved. So the first part about being part of meetups, going to events, is you get to meet great people. Um, I have a hobby of going to hackathons, going to meetups, doing a lot of things, and there's three that I absolutely adore. I love Tech Girls, they focus on um, education for middle school girls. I love Pi Ladies, it's a fantastic Python community, that's a real community. And then Code for Durham, which is part of the Code for America chapter. Why do I love these? It kind of feels like that old 80s, 90s sitcom Cheers, where people know you and they know your name. So connections, you get connections, you meet more people. And it's just like the excitement that you're feeling at this event, the things that you're learning, those are happening in your towns every single night. So the next part that's exciting is um, you not only get to meet great people, but you get to meet great people that are doing amazing things. So um, who knows about Code for America? So if you don't look it up, it's this uh, phenomenal organization and they operate on two different levels. From a very pragmatic perspective, I get together bi-monthly with my folks from Durham and we solve real problems. And then on a national level, we're sharing code and we're having broader discuss discussions about gentrification and others. Um, there's a great New York Times article about what the local Durham chapter did with um, looking at racial profiling with policing. It's a fantastic write-up and it's a really interesting look at data and accessing data. The other part that I want to highlight here is sometimes when you're in technology, things can get overwhelming. There's something always new to learn. And what I find is my communities ground me. They're a safe place to go to and someplace I can just return and be re-inspired. So the um, third joy is not only do you meet people doing great things, but you get to do great things. So my involvement in especially Tech Girls has really opened up the doors. So I've done um, a, a Part of being, part of being uh, with the Linux group, I did a presentation on, as a Windows person, what does Linux look like to me? And it was a good low entry to doing a presentation. With Tech Girls, we had a problem with attendance, so I got to use my Python skills to write an app that checks for attendance. And now, in a couple weeks, I'm gonna be presenting a source code management class with um, Jason Rudolph from GitHub um, to middle school girls, and so I'm able to learn more about source code management and those kind of things. So um, the, the big lesson that I want to take away too, or hear, you guys are here, is the little things all matter. So it's, getting on Stack Overflow is not a big deal, but it helps so much. Being able to see your Google history while you're debugging things helps so much, and you'll pick up those tools along the way. The other part is don't get tied up in um, making decisions. You can always pick a new language. You can be polyglot. You can always pick a new distribution of Linux. You can always deploy, and you probably will deploy on many different places. Just try it out, kick the tires, you're not committed to it. And then the counter to that is build muscle memory. Spend time, when it gets tough, push through it. Stay in that place, stay in that location, and build that muscle memory. Um, and then the last part I've already mentioned, if you want to really learn something, then teach it. It's a great opportunity. So the last joy is remembering why you got here in the first place. And I'll close out with this great um, quote from Ellen Lumen. Um, when, you're, when you forget why you're here, just remember, it'll tack into what you love. Tack into the work you love and the desire that brought you there in the first place. This creates a suspension of time, opens up a spacious room of your own in which you can walk around and consider your response. Thanks.